strong dedication, rich experience, committed educationist, valuable education, or the reflection of name called IFSA. Institute of Professional Studies and Research, IPSAR, located in Katak, the Millennium City of Odisha, was started as an endeavor in 1988 by Dr. R. N. Mishra, a visionary educationist of Odisha in the field of management and cost accountancy. <laughs> ଚିନ୍ତା <laughs> मो उद्देश्य रखे थे ली जे गुटे अनुष्ठान है जाओ एवं नाइट कॉलेज से तो न थिला आव नाइट कॉलेज रे गुटे कॉस्टिंग कोर्स इस समथिंग वेरी वेरी न्यू टू ओडिशा अतः न मो हवे ली जे ये टा हाउ सर आज जी चारी आड़े छत्तू पुटले आड़े कॉलेजेस खोले चल ची एवरी गुटे सिनेरियो रे अपनो आसन ता आठ दर्शो वर्षो � इप्सार What is your vision about इप्सार आशा परिपूर्ण under the guidance of Dr. R. N. Mishra and his meticulous planning, IPSAR reached the pinnacle of success in every sphere. Effective governance and quality education from the very start has resulted in the institute becoming a group of educational institutions in the state of Odisha. From the very beginning, faculty governance, student discipline, academic ambience, ever modernization and infrastructural support, value added programs, focused approach for all round personality development have all contributed in IPSAR establishing a brand equity in the field of professional education. Started on a humble rented accommodation at Katak, it is now the pride of having three campuses in the heart of Katak City, CDA, with a built-up area of more than 1,25,000 square feet. IPSAR is now a group of educational institutions having separate campuses for postgraduate and undergraduate courses. To begin with, the admission and counseling center at IPSAR helps sort out all types of doubts and confusions of the students regarding career and subject choice. It's an air-conditioned counseling center to render career advice and counsel to the students. IPSAR provides undergraduate education at par excellence with plus 2 science and plus 2 commerce. These undergraduate branches have been acknowledged as the best gurukul for forming the backbone of the higher secondary students who wish to pursue higher studies and other professional courses in their respective streams. The academics is covered in six different stages. The first stage forms the foundation stage commencing from the month of July and ending in September. Stage 2 commences from October to December. Regular teaching and assessment is done on subjects portions taught. 
Stage 3 is conducted between January to March and at the end annual exam is held as per CHSC syllabus. In Stage 4, pre-assessment is done to segregate the students on the percentage of marks secured in first year finals. Stage 5 conducted between July to October and pre-test exam held on subjects taught in Stage 4 and 5. Stage 6 is held between November to December, exclusive for revision of chapters for preparation to the CHSC final. For all this, teaching is done in three stages, general classroom sessions, tutorial classroom sessions and doubt clearing sessions. Weekly tests, entrance orientation program through OMR sheets, visual clippings and test batteries, weekly seminars and study tours are also conducted. Completely equipped science labs in physics, chemistry, zoology, botany, biotechnology offer excellent practical training tools. Let's share the experience of some undergraduate Ipsarians. Hi. Hello. We're coming out of chemistry lab. We're reading yeah. science? Yes. yes. Which class? Plus second. Plus second year. Plus to second year science. science. So why have you all uh, chosen science as a career choice? Because it is my aim that I want to be a doctor and it is also my parents' expectations. So I want to fulfill my parents' expectations. Okay, so you all have joined IPSAR for plus two sciences. Yes. Uh, IPSAR must have given you a lot of promises. Yes. So what are the promises? The promises are IPSAR is providing us uh, various facilities such as uh, it is providing us uh, coaching classes, entrance coachings and uh, regular tutorial classes, also evening classes and uh, uh, excellent faculty members and uh, various uh, other facilities. So you all are content with whatever promises they have done, you yes, think they have fulfilled it? Of course. Yes, of course. So given an option, you will continue for your further education at Yes, why yes, not? Fine, fine. Sure. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs>
hardware training, networking certification, .NET, etc. Now, time to meet some future managers and IT professionals of Ipsar. Hi. Hello. Uh, can you tell me why BCI at Ipsar only? Is it providing you with specific advantages? Yeah, many advantages. Uh, myself, Supriya Sahu, we are getting a different free courses like CCNA, Hardware Networking, also .NET and uh, Oracle. Really? Yeah. That's really great. Uh, do you think Ipsar is helping you in any way to take care of your future? Yeah, definitely. It, it is providing us with communicative English training. We are also getting uh, free course, uh, coaching for MBA and MC entrances, seminary presenting skills, and above all, a very disciplined way of pursuing a career. Okay, so many things. No? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Ipsar with an AICTE recognition since last 15 years has an approved intake of 120 for its full-time MBA programs and an approved intake of 60 seats for its part-time 3-year MBA program for working executives under affiliation to the Biju Patnaik University of Technology BPUT. It has student intake of 50 to 60 percent from outside the state. The institute has initiated sector-specific job orientation programs in new management areas for students in MBA program. The programs are aimed to impart sector-specific theory and practical knowledge with a view to improve employability and ready acceptability by industries in emerging areas like BPO, financial services, hospitality, health, aviation and retail management. Understanding the growing need of good communicative and soft skills, rigorous training programs are conducted around the year. From basic communication, comprehension and reading ability with correct pronunciation, drafting business letters, making verbal and PowerPoint presentations, group discussions and attending personal interviews have all been a part and parcel of MBA program. Students have shown excellent improvements through such exercise conducted by senior experts from corporate domains. The huge theatre room and the conference hall form the right venue for conducting these special personality growth sessions. The eight-week program under summer placement provides the students with an opportunity to work with reputed companies from various sectors where they get to put their ideas and skills to work. And as far as campus placements are concerned, IPSAR is nowhere behind. Among the companies visiting the campus, the most prominent are Coca-Cola, Dr. Reddy's Lab, ICSA Pru, ICSA Bank, Sriram Transport, Ceasefire Industries, Kotak Securities, Financial Technologies, Nokia, Country Club, Sipla, Reliance Retail and many more companies. Let's know more from the placement in charge. So do you think the present economic slowdown has beaten your placement target? No. Absolutely no. Whether we are able to place around 60 percent of the students among the 80 registered students in the placement, compared to last year, our ratio has gone up. We are focusing on the sectors like FMCD, entertainment industry, banking and insurance sector. Uh, great sir, uh, but uh, where do you exactly position IPSAR in the coming year? Uh, okay, that is, uh, we are focusing more on the summer placements, uh, which is the backbone for the final placement. For summer placement this year we are organizing for FMCG, FMCD, retail industries, banking, finance and also for the finance students we are organizing for ERP courses and FS courses as well. Okay, so that's a great achievement during the recession. Now let's hear what the future managers have got to say. Excuse me. Hi. Good afternoon. Um, what are you studying here in Ipsar? studying an MBA, I am in second year and I am in first year. Okay, so you are studying MBA, future managers. What do you think uh, a manager requires to cope up with this uh, competitive world? I think that a manager should have extensive knowledge about the uh, all applications of business like uh, HR, uh, marketing, finance, uh, IT, IT and uh, we should and doing MBA we are, uh, I think we are getting all these applications and focus on all these subjects. 
Okay, so do you think IPSAR is helping out you to develop all those skills? Yeah, because in our two years program, uh, we are providing with uh, good uh, communication skills, GD classes, then personality development classes, and uh, the faculties are so cooperative in uh, developing our skills, interpersonal yes. skills, like how to be confident and how to face audience in a corporate world. Uh, like uh, they are providing with uh, all the f all those facilities. Do you think IPSAR is helping you to develop these skills? Yes, ma'am. Uh, because we are getting the library facilities, and uh, every day we have a PD class. Uh, for uh, future placements and uh, our fa faculty members are also very cooperative and uh, besides uh, our uh, book, book uh, curriculum etc besides them uh, we are getting also magazines no, uh, competitive uh, uh, refresher books yeah. and uh, newspaper also and all there are six different type of newspapers and 20 yes. different type of magazines that they are providing like we have regular uh, GD, uh, personality growth classes and then group discussion classes personality development classes like uh, all these things they are providing and we, in our two years program, they are also providing additional uh, course like a retail from IGNU they are providing. Yes. Retail, uh, then um, environmental development, all we these things are providing. We have also income tax class and retail management course in, uh, in free. That's, uh, that is helping us very much in uh, getting the future and to cope up with the competitive world. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. IPSAR's infrastructure consists of a huge air-conditioned library which has a collection of 5,000 books, 25 journals and magazines, study materials, answer booklets and exam questions. Nothing less than a knowledge center. At the Computer Resource Center, ICT facilities provided on one is to one basis during lab hours. The CRC is connected through LAN and high bandwidth internet connectivity. Without efficient faculties, no institution can function properly. Faculties at IPSAR are highly experienced, qualified and committed with a strong dedication to guide the future of a student in the right direction. Hello sir. Sir Namaskar. Hello ma'am. Hello sir. Sir, you are a faculty at IPSAR. Yes. So, now what do you feel about the students out in IPSAR and of course, what do you feel about your college? Yes, uh, my college is a uh, very good college and our students are also very nice. They are good in every aspect, uh, in learning as well as in discipline as well and as in participating in any other activities. Thank you very much, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. Sir, uh, can you tell me what are the specific teaching methodologies which we follow for the undergraduate programs like BBA and BCA? See here at IPSAR, we basically design the course module in such a way that the course module can be completed within the due time. Next students are sent to various organizations for project works so that their career come to a best point. Okay. Next university questions and internal exams are held at regular instances. Okay. So you are giving a lot of summer projects also? Yes, summer projects also takes place. Okay. Thanks. Thanks oh, a lot. Thank you. IPSAR has excellent canteen facilities for boarders and non-boarders. The canteen is maintained as per the ISO 9001-2008 and certified by the Health Officer of Katak Municipal Corporation. A snack center containing wide range of snacks like fast foods, beverages are offered to the students throughout the day and evening hours. IPSAR has excellent hostels for boys and girls. Lady Wardens in Girls Hostel and Gents Warden in Boys Hostel look after the well-being of the hostelites. Security guards are provided round the clock to look after safety and security of students. Medical attendance is provided at the nearby hospitals and clinics. Faculty members look the study of the hostelites.
So for retaining quality education at IPSAR, what do you think is more important? For retaining quality education, what we need is emphasizing on teaching quality and what we do is that focus on the quality of the teaching which solely depends on the selection of right kind of faculties. This is supported by the pedagogy what we adopt which is supported again by the study materials what we give, the training programs which we normally impart here. We also train, you know, send our students to the field trainings there. We have good summer placements for the, at the PG, uh, the, the UG level. We have uh, good uh, campus placements. And all these things are coming through a concerted effort right from the classroom to the field training. That is what we focus on. Isab, uh, how do you think IPSAR will maintain its leadership over the other institutes in the coming years? Uh, are you adopting any specific strat uh, strategies and plannings? Yes, IPSAR has a very clear and distinct vision. We have gained strength year by year with more focus on, as I said earlier, like your quality education. And this is done through a rich tradition which we have been having and you, we have a we have behind the screen the promoters with, with a good academic and strong uh, experience professionals and what we do is that we have not, not remained static, uh, static for the last few years here we have changed according to the demand to change. The business dynamics which are changing also help us to change our method of providing education. But we don't lose our focus on providing quality education and our motto has been to provide quality education at affordable cost at all levels. Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you. Business dynamics are changing fast. In a sector like education, supply outstrips demand. In a crucial sector like education, private sector is going to play a challenging role and compete with the model institutions set up by government. But whatever the situation is, it's ultimately quality that's going to survive. And let's see over the coming years how IPSAR flashes out with its rich tradition, unabated dedication and strong commitment. God willing, IPSAR will continue to contribute significantly to the development of education at all levels of society. For now and future, the ultimate choice is IPSAR.